Hey you everybody, Tron Crusher here, or because of Fantastic Day Full Joy and Happiness. Welcome to the channel. Today we are back with another episode of Radcon series, and in today's video, we are finally moving away from 556 caliber, I promise, and we are getting to 762. The first 762 gun I want to touch on in this series is going to be a semi-automatic gun, and it more gears towards uh, early wipe to mid wipe. Uh, it's all you need it's going to be level two uh, traders and this is going to be a really good build for early wipe especially the patch 14 where the wipe is around the corner we know it it should be in a month or two and you can use this gun and this build to have a you know higher hand against your other opponents when the wipe hits so without further ado let's crush it All right, now we are back. Let's talk VPO 136. The first thing first I want to touch on here is to how get your hands on this gun. So if you go to uh, skier level one, you can find this gun for 31,000 rubles. You also have a trade for sausage, one sausage, and you can get this three times per reset. Also, you can find this gun pretty cheap around 20 to 25,000 rubles all day long on flea market. Also, you can find it pretty much on a lot of scavs. So, it's really available gun and it's up to you how you want to get it. Alright, let's check it out. VPO 136 comes with ergonomic of 55, vertical recoil of 98 and horizontal recoil of 273. We know these stats are really high, even for a semi-automatic gun. So let's improve this together. First thing we want to do is to change our muzzle to TTAK adapter. And when we do that, we can put our 545 uh, uh, and 762 slash uh, muzzle brake combo Zenit DTK1. And this gives us a really good, you know, slash to our recoils. And then after that, we are going to change our handguard to RS-47. And then after that, for our uh, front grip, we are going to use Zenit RK-4. And then, as usual, we want to use Boulder Pro for our flashlight. Right now, you know, flashlights are bugged don't use it but this build is you know i'm making this video for whoever uses it later on too so we are going to uh, use the boulder pro and then we're going to remove the front sight and we are going to put bastion dust cover on it and after this you can go with any of the optics you like i just want to have something super cheap so i'm just going to use pk06 and then the meat of our build right now is to put our butt pad on it, AK butt pad. And as you can see, this is our whole build right here. And our ergonomics are improved to 61. Our vertical recoil is to 70. It's 28 points less. And most importantly, our horizontal recoil is 197 right now, 100 points of what it was before and if you want to see how much this gun gonna cost you we're gonna go here find parts take off the parts that comes with the gun and we don't need it and that brings the amount to only 54,000 rubles for the parts and then if you want to add 20,000 to it for the gun it's 77,000 rubles for the whole build it may go up and down a little bit based on the price of flea market but this gun is never going to be more than 80k for you i promise next let's touch on what kind of ammo and what kind of magazine you should use on this gun in my opinion for the ammo either use bp or ps don't use anything under ps it doesn't worth it and you may say hey bp is really hard to come by right now you cannot buy it no more you're right you have to craft it or find it in raid it's hard to come by but if you have it you know instead of leaving it in your stash you can get some good use out of it put five or ten rounds on top of your magazine 
and that way you can either kill people with it or shred their armor and then finish the job off with the ps or if you don't have the bp just use the ps newly buffed ps has 35 penetration and 57 damage it's pretty good for early to mid wipe still you know just use it you can find it all the time on scavs or you can buy it right up from proper level 2 and for the magazine you can use 10 rounder 30 rounder 40 rounder 50 rounder or 75 rounder for this gun any high capacity mag because it's a semi-auto it's kind of a gimmick you're not gonna use it you're just gonna slash your ergonomics just use the 30 rounder 10 rounders not gonna cut it just use your 30 rounder you have plenty of options on that and just go with whatever you like and it fits in the budget now let's try this gun together for availability i give it five out of five you can buy this gun right up from level one uh skier you can buy it on flea market you can find it on scab it's available and all the parts and mods are also super cheap and you know easy to get just from level two traders for, so five out of five for availability for versatility i give it three out of five it's a semi-auto gun if you don't have that fast you know uh finger it's really gonna be hard for you to use it but it's still pretty good uh use it for short to medium distance engagement don't use it uh, for cqbs or longer ranges for performance i give it four out of five this gun is more geared towards early vibe and when you use it early vibe and everybody only have class two three or four armor this gun it feels amazing for effectiveness i give it four out of five at the end using the 762 big boy caliber and it's pretty good if you have access to bp or even ps still pretty good for fun factor i give it four out of five for how cheap this gun is and you know how effective it is you can kill people and have a lot of fun you know looting that good good m4 or any other better guns that you can have and you just can insurance for this nobody gonna pick it up that brings our total down to four out of five this is a really solid gun i always enjoy using it and you know it's just good gun Thanks for watching till end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to like and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Also, let me know down in comment what you think of this 136 build. Do you use 136 or are you one of those guys that rather to use SKS early vibe? Make sure you let me know. Also, thanks for watching till end of the video. I see you guys on the next one.